Today is November the 10th. Today, we'll read a letter between friends. Reading through the Bible in a year, I'd like you to read the letter of 1 Timothy today. This letter Paul sends to Timothy, and the friendship between these two men just comes out. Now, Paul is in a position of authority over Timothy. In fact, he has assigned Timothy to a specific assignment. At this time, he left him in Ephesus to correct some false teaching. So what we find in this letter, the first two chapters, are generic instructions. Instructions about what to do about the false teaching. Instructions about Timothy's specific responsibility. And finally, instructions about the way Paul wanted worship to take place in Ephesus. In chapter 3, Paul turns his attention to something that was always important to Paul. He told Timothy, I want you to focus on training others. Your focus is not primarily the church. Your focus really is not even correct teaching. Your focus are other men and women just like you. Train them, and here's what they're supposed to look like. He gives instructions for what the elder should look like, instructions for what their wives should look like, and then instructions for what the deacons should look like. Now, this is not Paul saying, go out and find people like this. This is Paul saying, within the church, the people that you see rising to leadership, teach them how to do this. If you look at chapter 3 in that sense and compare it to seminary curriculum today, you'll find that our seminaries today focus on the how. Paul told Timothy, focus on the who. Who we are in Christ is much more important than how to do the ministry. Now, in chapters 4, 5, and 6, Paul moves on to very specific cases, things that he wanted Timothy to do, advice that he had about leaders in the church. Uh, Practically, he gives Timothy sermon content in this passage. He says, teach this, and you'll do well. In the final instructions, he tells Timothy that he should hang in there, pursue righteousness and a godly life, along with faith, love, perseverance, and gentleness. Fight the good fight for the true faith. Hold tightly to the eternal life to which God has called you. This is Paul speaking to his friend, Timothy. Like, follow, and subscribe to this devotional on whatever platform you use to listen to it. Email your questions to us at questions at becomehope.com. Tomorrow, we'll look at Paul's last words to Timothy. Timothy.